Dead Man Mode, the most competitive and some of the best PKing content there is on RuneScape. It's been gone for almost a whole year, but as of two days ago, it has been announced that a month-long tournament will be coming to us starting from May 1st. In the spirit of this, and just for some friendly competition, me and Abyss will be creating brand new World 45 Deadman accounts, competing with each other for 12 hours to make the best account possible, and then deathmatching. To make it even more competitive, the loser will give the winner 100 US dollars as today's Deadman Mode prize. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know I live for Deadman Mode and love building Tribird PKing builds, so I've got a pretty good chance at this. Let's get right into it. So 12 hours of immunity to make the best possible account for the deathmatch. My thoughts going into this is I want to get 80 mage for charge and zami flames, and then I want to train my range and defense as high as possible, and just mage range the whole fight, and that should be able to get me the outlast win. Uh, to start, we're just going to get some agility though, because that's going to be needed for the GE shortcut. 24 agility, I'm going to use the Grand Tree to go to Varrock and go collect my 10k from the Stronghold of Security. That's the 10k, let's go spend it so we can actually start progressing the account. Alright, 8k spent purely on range supplies, we're going to save the 2k for now and we're going to get this range training started. 20 def and 30 range on just the men in Edgeville, picking up all the herbs you can get for some starter cash and just for some starter stats. Alright, we're 50 range, so we'll get this kill and we'll peace out. This is well 45? Yeah, man. 112k, dude. That's what we like. This is exactly what I wanted, dude. Now we're in a good position. We made 120k just from getting 50 range and from all the herbs, and we spent the majority of the money on runes to go to Lava Dragons with. We bought two prayer potions, and we also have 30k to buy ourselves a looting bag. So we're going to be doing 1 to 80 mage at Lavas and 1 to 52 prayer here as well. We don't really need more than 52 prayer. Everything else we get from the drops are just going to be pure money that can help us fund our account and get ready for the 1v1. Two rune longswords and a rune kite shield. 60 mage, nice. That's what we wanted. That's 60 mage at lava, so we decided to use the prayer pots we bought earlier to go do mage arena 1. Okay, I'm gonna alk this because it gives 48k as far as I'm aware. Um, oh, 52 prayer. We can stop wearing bones now, which means we get extra GP, which is pretty gamer. It's pretty gaming. 70 mage, gaming. Oh shit, the f got 8 black dragon hide, 8 bones in here. 20k cash and all of this as well. Alright, it's time to get selling everything we made from lava so far. Oh my god, I can't believe I dropped the other ones, dude. Fire orbs are 2.5k each. We made about 400k profit so far just from doing lavas, and we're just going to sink it in all into 3k fire bolts. Keep using them at lavas, and that should get us to 80 mage. Once we're at 80 mage, we're going to start training our account in different ways, and hopefully get prepared for the 1v1. You may be thinking, you've been sitting at lavas all day long. You've only got 76 mage, 50 range, 20 death, 50... Trust, okay? That's all I have to say. All I have to say is fucking trust. Onyx Bolt tips again. That's gaming. Dude, we got 50k cash from that trip. Bunch of bones, Onyx Bolts, and whatever else. We'll see. We still got 1.1k Chaos Runes to go. Okay, last kill, 80 mage, 40 death, 50 range. Onyx Bolt tips? Runite Bolts, I'll take it. Whatever. From all the Alcabills, Bones, and Hides, and other drops, we managed to get around 750k from 80 mage, 40 death, all from Lavas, and it was time to start training up our range. So my plan was to get 50 to 55 range at Elder Chaos Druids in the Wilderness and make as much money as possible while just getting those simple levels. I never... Elder Chaos top. I wonder if that'll sell. Surely some people want it as a cosmetic, right? Surely it'll sell, dude. So I'm really hoping Abyss hasn't thought of this yet. I've got 650k, I just got an Elder Chaos robe top. I'm gonna use all the GP I have to buy chins to quickly train my range up. You guys know I love my chinning on Deadman. It's sold! It fucking sold! I, I'm sorry, I just fucking nerded out, but I knew it would sell, dude. I knew it would sell. So we spent all the money we had on around 250 red chins and 160 black chins, which can actually get us a whole lot of levels because I know what I'm doing. Um, couldn't buy red or blue dehyde, however, because of the way the 45 market is, so we're going to be chinning in green dehyde. Okay, we're out of chins and one more hit. But we got to... 71 range, 80 mage, 52 defense of that, so that's good. Now, while me and Abyss have been wanting to do this challenge for a while, we gotta give credit where credit is due. Linksos Greener, Rog, Tanzu, and Vertoso have all done different videos doing challenges on this, and all their channels will be linked in the description. We just wanted to put our own spin on it, and guys, if you want to see me do this challenge with any other PK, let me know in the comments, and I might try to make it happen for you guys. Anyway, let's get on with the 12 hours. Just to mix back some of the GP that we lost, we went to the Port Serum rune shop and the mage bank shop and bought the runes there which we could sell for the G on profit. 
I could have gone to the Wizards Guild as well, but apparently it's always sold out and capped, so I just did what I could to make a little bit of money back. So after making a little bit of money from Chaos Druids, we decided it was time to go to Barrows with less than three hours left. We were hoping just to pull a big item, be able to sell it for cash, and that would be able to fund everything else I needed for the 1v1 and put me in a really good position to win the deathmatch. If we get unlucky, however, this could go really bad, but I'm hoping the runes itself will cover it, as blood runes are like 500 GP each, and I'm gonna need those anyway to cost Flames of Zami. Okay, first chest, G on me. Fuck. Um, let's go to runes, though. Come on. Yikes. That's the first time I've ever wanted a rat to hit me, man. What are we getting? Please? Not gaming. So no. Chest? Please. Oh, that's a good amount of runes though, but still no luck on the drops. Wow. Um Arms Robe Top incoming, we'll see, dude. Please? Oh, I didn't even open it. Okay. What are we getting? Bolt racks. Are you trolling me or what? Um dude, I need to drop food to pick all this shit up. Come on. Please just give me an arms robe top. It is what it is, man. Alright, I think we're done with Barrows, to be honest. We did seven chests. I was hoping to get more done, but... Okay, so surprise, surprise, Barrows was a fairly shit idea. It didn't really generate us any of the money we wanted, but it did give us the blood runes to go unlock Flames of Zami, as well as use Flames of Zami in our final fight. So that's good, I guess. I just wanted to try some different tactics out, give a little bit of variety for the video. I probably could have just farmed GP straight for the amount of time I'd done that, and made a whole lot more money. But it was just something I was willing to do, you know, to spice it up a little bit and see what we could have got done. So with less than an hour left to train and make money, we really messed up there at Barrows. And we just decided to go to Chaos Druids again, try and get 60 defense through long range, and just see how much money we can make from the Druids. And then we'd have to get prepared for the fight, which would be happening an hour from now. Five minutes left and 60 defense has been acquired. Congrats on the 60 def, you needed it? I really did, man. I really did. Um, I guess I'll go just do Elders for like three more minutes. So this is the gear and inventory that we ended up with. Now from my mathematics, if everything went well and I did everything correctly, I could have ended up with a Dragon Med Helm, Dragon Legs, a Rune Pouch as I would have gotten a tier 5 from all the level 100s I was killing, and I would have been able to use Flames of Zami and Entangles. I couldn't even afford the combination runes, so we had to use three inventory spots on our runes, unfortunately. We're going to be pre-potting our Magic Potion, our Anti-Poison, and our super defense, which gives us an extra three sharks. So I hope we have a good chance of winning this fight. We're about to go see what Abyss has and let's see how this fight goes. So this is Abyss's final stats and gear. He's 80 range with 61 def and he's going for a fully ranged tank setup. And it looks like he's just going to be bolting me through prayer. He can also have more food instead of the runes or the mage armor that I'm using. Now I wasn't expecting this. I was expecting him to go for a hybrid build like me. So this fight is going to be a lot more harder than I thought. Nice. 30, dude. That's what you like to see. Nice hits.
get there. Only an 18, what the fuck? I thought that was a lot bigger than that. Nice. 28 there. Come on for the KO. Damn it. I need to get this food. Oh, he's got food left. Fuck. Oh, I brought my mage pot with me, dude. 20. Is he out? Jesus. Come on. Damn it, dude. Good fight. GG, dude. Fuck. That retribution was it, man. Fuck, dude. So unfortunately, the simple range tank build did manage to beat me today. I made some stupid decisions and I forgot to bank my mage and defense potion as my brain just fell out of my head and I forgot to do it, meaning I had two less food than I could have had. He also had a well-timed heart prayer that ultimately ended up winning him the fight and costing me a hundred bucks. Good fight to him. If you guys want to see his perspective of how he got there, there is a link to his video in the description. That's it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like as it goes a long way. And make sure you guys are subscribed as I'm going to be trying to release PK commentaries every single day of the month of the month-long DMM tournament. Let me know in the comments if you guys are going to be playing the tourney and I will see you guys later.